In this video, we're going to look at how to plot the shear force and bending moment diagrams um, in Excel. So this is from uh, example one, and this was our, our solution over here. So uh, we're going to look at the segments from A to B and then B to C. So we can see that from A to B, which is from uh, zero to three meters, so from zero to three meters, the shear force is uh, 2,400. So we got 2,400. And I'm going to copy that down. And you might notice on my x-axis here, I have three meters and then three meters. And the reason I have that is that's where the, the shear force changes. Okay. So uh, I know from naught to three meters, it's 2.4. And then from three meters, so this segment here from B to C, uh, from B to C, it is minus 3.6. So there's a, 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 a very instantaneous change here at uh, three meters. So I'm going to say that's minus 3,600. Okay, if we want to look at the um, bending moment, well, the bending moment from A to B is. 2.4x, so this is x, so it's equal to 2,400 uh, multiplied by x. And I'm just going to copy that the whole way down because that's the same until we get to here. And then from B to C, the bending moment uh, is equal to, it's minus 3,600. Uh, multiplied by x, that in brackets, plus 18k, so and I'll just copy that down, and that's it. So if we then want to, to plot it, we will uh, just highlight the, the cells, the data, and I'm going to go insert, and I'm going to pick a scatter plot with straight lines. There it is. So there's our shear force and bending moment diagram for uh, for this example. 